Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. I have had a busy day so far today, and I had to do two things that I'm not a big fan of doing. Number one, I had to drive down to the city of Pittsburgh. I'm not a big fan of big cities, and I don't like driving in them. Now, when I was a kid, it didn't bother me at all, but the older I get, the less I like it. The second thing that I had to do, I had to go to the doctor, and I'm not a big fan of that either. So if you remember a while back, I think it was the 1st of January, I smashed my finger on the sawmill and I think they called it degloving. Basically I ripped all the skin off the end of my finger. Now not all the way around it, pretty much from here on the top down around this side to about, I don't know, somewhere in here. That was all gone. Well, all the skin grew back. I have feeling in my finger. I thought everything was kind of moving along nicely, but I just can't bend it. I still can't bend it enough. And for the last couple months, I keep working it with my other hand trying to loosen it up. And it's just not getting any better. And I thought, you know what? If I can get this fixed, I might as well do it. So I made a doctor's appointment with a specialist, this kind of thing. And uh, he was working it today, you know. And I was like, that hurts, you know. And he said, it's going to have to hurt to get it to work better. And uh, I said, I go to the doctor when things hurt to get them fixed. I don't like going there for more pain. But apparently, that's what I need to do. They did an x-ray, nothing's broken in it, it's all just scar tissue, and I have to just keep working it and pushing on it, and I get that scar tissue to kind of break up. So I did all that, came home, and then I went over to neighbor Cliffs. I took the BX over there, and uh, we're getting that patio ready for, uh, or getting all the, you know, the ground ready for a new patio over there beside the swimming pool. I had to dig out in between the gate over to the pool, so I used the BX for that and uh, we're gonna have stone coming tomorrow the next day and we'll have that all on grade take the plate compactor over and that will be good to go so that's what was, that has been my day so far today next on the agenda i'm gonna head down to the wood yard i got a load of uh, number three rock delivered today we're gonna go spread that on some geotextile
So at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that it was sponsored by HelloFresh, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, they deliver seasonal recipes and pre-portioned ingredients right to your door, and the food is absolutely delicious. To say it's restaurant-quality food would be an understatement. It's better than that. As a matter of fact, some things that I didn't think I would like, I love, and the whole family's a big fan of HelloFresh. It also saves you time, money, and stress. This time of year, a lot of people are going on vacation. You can update your delivery address to enjoy HelloFresh at your vacation destination with just a click. HelloFresh won't get in the way of a busy day. As a matter of fact, on our busiest days, those are the days we have HelloFresh for dinner. You can stay on track with simple recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that cut out meal prep and trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh helps you reach your goals, choose from fit, wholesome recipes that make it easy to eat well without sacrificing flavor so you can maintain your goals and feel good about your food choices with HelloFresh. With the pre-portioned ingredients, that means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Using HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. Bottom line is this, the food is great, we all love it. If we didn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it today. If you want more information, go to HelloFresh.com and use code OUTDOORS16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Alright, I got a nice uh, coating of number threes on the Gia Textile so far. All this will get 2A limestone on top of it. I'm not putting the uh, Gia Textile down over everything, just over in this area right here and on the road on the other side of Blueford there. Over in here somewhere, I'm trying to remember where it was, you know, this, this bank right here was way out here. And somewhere in here, I dug a couple borrow pits before I was planning on going back that far. So that's one of the reasons I put the Geotextile down. But they're backfilled pretty well. 
uh, running the truck through here and everything, I didn't see any pumping. And if it was a little bit soft, this Gia Textile with the number three rock will take care of that. I don't have uh, much of this left. I'll take what's left of this roll over there the other side, see how far we get. But by the way, this torch works uh, pretty well for cutting this. When you use a knife, sometimes you get those stringers, you know what I mean? With this, you don't. There you have it. All right, I got this rolled out here. I didn't have enough to finish, but uh, I'm gonna have to get another roll anyway, because we're gonna need some on the driveway down in West Virginia. I'm gonna hop back on the skid loader, get this all covered up. We should be good. I got this little section done right here and as you can see this is where the uh, Gia textile ended I didn't put my stone the whole way out to the end that way I can pull this back a little bit 
then continue on when I get another roll of Gia Textile. I'll probably only take it to somewhere right in here. This is all good and hard. That's been there for years. Right here is about, I don't even know, eight or nine feet of fill that I put in over the last month or two. So I want to get Gia Textile down on that. Something I wanted to mention, uh, if you noticed, when I started spreading this stone on here at this end, I actually reached over the Gia Textile, started sprinkling it on, and worked backwards. And the reason I did that, if you're moving forward and you just have that Gia Textile laying on the ground, it's real easy to kind of roll the Gia Textile and get the rocks underneath it. If you reach over it a little bit, sprinkle some on, moving backwards, it lays it out nice and flat, and you don't have to worry about it rolling up. But yeah, looking pretty good. But anyway, I think that's about it. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check out that link in the description. Also want to thank all of you for being here. I'm going to head up to the house, exercise this finger. Catch you on the next one.